Hello everyone, happy to see you here, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a really interesting algebra question, a really interesting math question here in the middle of the screen, you can easily see it. We have 2 times 2 divided by 2 inside parentheses and times 2. So what is the correct answer right here? I suggest you to pause the video and write a solution down into the comment section right here. We have 3 options, option A, option B, option C. So right now write your full solution down into the comment section and your option. It will be really interesting to check our answers in the end of the video, so it will be really interesting to check our school knowledge because this is our mm, school question we can easily solve it and your age doesn't matter right here everyone can easily test your school knowledge okay so here's our question here is our here's our four options we have option a option b and option c three options so we can easily we can easily check our solutions okay not only option but you can also write your solution okay so here's our question and a lot of students might be saying okay let's go in a strict order from left to right maybe we can write two times two at first we can if this is equal to four we have 2 times 2 on the right side equal to 4, so with this division in the middle, maybe 4 divided by 4 equal to 1. So a lot of students solve this question like that. They say, okay, we need to go from left to right because we know our order of operation. And you know, I'm not going to say that this is correct or incorrect. I want you to understand that in terms of math, we need to know what is the correct order to do mathematical operations. Because, for example, when we have addition, subtraction, division, multiplication, parentheses, maybe powers, maybe inner parentheses, yeah, and in terms of math, we need to know how can we group all of this stuff we can easily say okay addition first subtraction second step the third division but it's not a correct thing we need to know what is the correct order to perform all these mathematical operations and then we can easily say okay this is a correct answer because we solved it according to a correct order of operation and here's few words about this order of operation uh, i call this order not only me but everyone call this order of operation as pemdas order of operation this is not an english word this is like a quick checklist maybe a lot of students know about the thing which is called Bodmas order of operation or or another or bondes or something like that or maybe like a pdmc something like that so there are a lot of really interesting orders of operation but this Bodmas or bombas mainly used in the uk in india yeah, this PEMDAS mainly used in Europe, in the USA, but to be honest, this is absolutely the same thing. So order of operation for brackets, orders, a division, multiplication, addition, subtraction is absolutely the same for every order of operation. So in 95% of cases, people use PEMDAS order of uh, operation, and I'm going to explain you about this PEMDAS, but doesn't matter when you choose another order of operation, we will have absolutely the same answer. Okay, so this is like a quick checklist, so each of these letters stands for something, and I'm no, I'm going to talk it in a strict order from left to right because in the same way works priority, okay? We are talking about pre higher priority on the on the left side and the lower priority on the right side. So it means that, for example, the first letter P has the highest priority and letter P stands for, for parentheses. We are talking about this type of brackets. We are talking about this type of brackets. In, in Bodmas, people mainly use this type of brackets. And, you know, sometimes people use this type of brackets, but in only in few percent of cases, people use this one, something like that, the squiggly brackets. Yeah? But in 95% of cases, people, people use these parentheses or this type of brackets. So to be honest, the first step, the high priority has group and symbol. So parentheses means group and symbol. We need to evaluate the expression inside, inside parentheses. So this is our, our first step to evaluate the expression inside parentheses. After parentheses, we move forward to the next step. The next step is E. E stands for exponent. And don't be scared about this uh, exponent. This is basic powers. This is, for example, 2 to the power 3. This is 5 to the power 2, we're talking about basic thing which is called like powers, we need to raise this to the power and we need to do this after parentheses so our second step is to find all these powers all this stuff with powers and then we need to we need to raise this okay so the next step is multiplication and division this is one common group and to, um, for um, correct explanation we need to put imaginary brackets right here because multiplication and division are tied for priority so it means that whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division because uh, m stands for multiplication d stands for division we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right this is one common group okay so when we have for example like two times three divided by five times four divided by three so whenever we have a mixture of multiplication and division doesn't mean that we need to perform multiplication first because m comes first from left to right okay we're talking about m before d okay it means on the first side okay okay it means that multiplication is all the time before division but this is one common group and we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right okay so 
the first step from here, what do we what do we have? We have a mixture of multiplication division all the time. So we need to scan from left to right. What is the first sign from left to right? Now, of course, the first sign from left to right, basically, this is two times three. So the first step is to evaluate this this product we need to multiply it and then after multiplication we have the second sign division so after multiplication we need to divide this product by five after division we need to multiply it by four and the last step is we need to divide it by three so step by step we go from the first sign to the last one okay so i really hope you understand this uh, algorithm what we need to do when we have a mixture of multiplication and division and in and in conclusion we have a stands for addition s stands for subtraction to be honest this is the easiest part this is also one common group but on in this point you don't need this order of operation anymore because when you have five plus three you literally like don't need to 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 look at your order of operation okay so i really hope you understand it so once more real quick uh, real quick assessment about this uh, step so the first step is parentheses the second step exponent the third step we need to perform multiplication and division in a strict order from left to right and the fourth step is addition and subtraction to be honest this is like a basic method sometimes happen that we have implicit multiplication sometimes happen that we have like uh, inner parentheses but to be honest this is a basic order of operation so in 95 percent of cases you need only this stuff so you, it will help you a lot when you need uh, when you learn all of this stuff okay and right now let's apply this order of operation to our question here's our question we had it in the beginner uh, in the beginning so right now let's apply this order of operation and I, I i real quick i erase all of this stuff from here because i'm going to apply our question to this order of order of operation and according to order of operation we need to scan it in a strict order from left to right and the first step is parentheses so let's find where do we have parentheses in our question let's look at it yeah we have parentheses something like that we have parentheses right here so our first step is to evaluate the expression inside parentheses inside parentheses we have like not a complicated expression this is basic two divided by two everyone know that this is equal to one so as a result what do we have two times 2 divided by 2 equal to 1, and we still have this, this 2. So we complete this first step, we have we have parentheses, this is our first step, we, we complete it. After parentheses, we go to the next step, the next step is exponent, we need to find where do we have maybe two squares, maybe we have like two cubes, we don't have any of those, we don't have any powers at any point, we don't have it in any number, so we can easily reject this part, which is really great, we reject this exponents part, we don't have it. After exponents, we move forward to the next step, the next step is multiplication and division group, this is one common group, and we need to find where do we have multiplication, division, mixture, where do we have it basically we don't have division so we can easily reject this part we don't have it uh, but let me change my pen real quick with the red one it will be easier for you to understand it but it doesn't work okay so let's use for example the red one okay let's uh, reject this division let's reject this exponent so we have we have multiplication part and to be honest at this point you don't need this order of operation anymore after parenthesis part basically because we have basic multiplication part we have two times one times two and and from here we can say that 2 times 1 equal 2. If you're talking about a correct order, we need to perform it in a strict order from left to right. So the first step is 2 times 1 equal to 2. And we still have this 2 on the right side. So 2 times 2 equal to equal to 4. So according to a correct order of operation, according to this PEMDAS, a correct answer is 4. So once more, let's make real quick mm, assessment about this uh, about this question. So the first step, we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Here's our expression inside parentheses. Second step, maybe we have exponents. Let's scan where do we have it. We don't have any of those, so we reject this part. After exponents, we have multiplication division mixture. Let's scan where do we have it. We have multiplication mixture. We cancel this D. And to be honest, at this point, you don't need this order of operation because 2 times 1 times 2 equal to 4 basically literally yeah but if you look closely at this order of operation correct order to perform it is to perform it like from left to right so first of all 2 times 1 equal to like with imaginary brackets in our head from left to right don't forget about it not from right to left so 2 times 1 equal to 2 and uh, these two equal to equal to 4 so according to this order of operation according to this PEMDAS correct answer is 
correct answer is four. And right now let's go back. Uh, and of course we can easily say that this is a correct answer because we are talking about a correct order of operation according to correct principles, according to a correct math algorithm. And of course, uh, when we use it, we can easily say this is a correct answer. And let's go back to our question. Just keep in mind that four is a, a correct answer. Let's go back to our question. In the beginning we said, okay, maybe we should multiply it first. Maybe we should multiply right here. And a correct answer maybe is one. Well, when you choose a correct answer one, you need to review a little bit your basic mess because this is a wrong answer. This is absolutely wrong wrong answer and of course correct answer will be two when we have something like that okay when we have like two times two divided by two times two with parentheses right here correct answer is one hundred percent yeah you can easily say okay two times two equal to four but we need to replace parentheses on one point on the left so we need to put parentheses right here and we need to put parentheses right here so parentheses has the highest priority so right here we have four, two times two equal to four two times two equal to four so a correct answer is one with parentheses okay with parentheses right here correct answer is uh, is one but let me just erase all of this stuff because in our question in our in our math problem correct answer is not one with parentheses right here correct answer is one we don't have parentheses at this point and these places so correct approach is the next one the first one evaluate the expression inside parentheses our first step and the second step, we need to go in a strict order from left to right. In our question, we have a mixture of multiplication and division, so we need to only to do this from in a strict order from left to right. At our point, this multiplication sign has the second priority, and this sign has the third, uh, the third priority. And okay, this is my explanation to this question. So we can easily say that correct answer is, uh, correct answer is four. And you can be easily be proud of yourself that you solve this question like that that you solve this question um, and you say that correct answer is uh, four because this is a really great, really great moment. And right now a few words about this question because you know sometimes happen that you, for example, plug in this uh, this question in your calculator, you know, you plug in it and sometimes happen that, you know, those type of calculators work with problem as you type it in. So for example, you plug in two times two in your calculator and you know sometimes calculators give you four instantly because your calculator like doesn't know what do you have further. But further you have parentheses, you have multiplication, sign you have division sign you have a lot of really interesting math operations so try to plug in the whole entire problem on the in your calculator so you have your calculator right here and you plug in the whole problem so you plug in this stuff from the this side to this side okay and then your calculator is smart enough then your calculator will be like okay i have multiplication right here i have parentheses right here i have this parentheses i have division i have two i have two i have two i have multiplication and then your calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation because 99 percent of calculators works according to PEMDAS, to BODMAS, to pejm does you know there are a lot of calculators uh, works with uh, implicit multiplication but uh, i don't know uh, i don't uh, want to talk about that i'm talking about the basic stuff so try to plug in the whole entire problem and then a calculator is smart enough to know about order of operation it was my quick explanation about this question i really hope you understand it i really hope your answer is option c i really hope but when your answer is a you need to review a little bit your basic math because this is like a very big mistake in terms of math when you forget about parentheses because in 99 percent of cases parentheses has the highest priority so every time you need to evaluate the expression inside parentheses but what is inside then you need to review a little bit you need to simplify this a little bit because in our case, in our in our question, we have an uh, easy expression inside parentheses. We have 2 divided by 2. But sometimes happen that you have, for example, 2 to the power 5 divided by 2. You need to know that exponent part is before division. So it, it will be in, in the next video. I will show you a really interesting questions. This is the basic one. Correct answer is 4. When you choose the correct answer 1, you need to review a little bit your basic math. And of course, when you choose a correct answer as B, you need to review a little bit your basic, your basic math. So thank you everyone for your time, wish you all the best in your life, thank you everyone for your support, for your likes, for your dislikes, I really appreciate it when you see your response down into the comment section, your kind comments, your bad comments, this is up to you, maybe you have some, some response, some notes about my, my content, I try to like make and relaxing challenges every day, like uh, sometimes quick, sometimes a little bit longer video, but it depends on the question, I really like to talk a lot, uh, to, to give some hints for students, to explain some new stuff, yeah? To like to 
to make these uh, 10 minutes with with, uh, with the chill like atmosphere it is it is really great i guess so wish you all the best in your life thank you everyone for your response for your comments for your for your likes i really appreciate it and if this video is helpful in any way don't forget to like and subscribe at the definitely help me out now for this particular video so wish you all the best in your life take care of yourself and have a great day